Okay, these next videos are showing you how to do the uh, problems on the uh, placement test. And there are practice placement tests at uh, this website here. First of all, if you go to www.allegheny.edu, go to that website, and then just type in after the front slash, if you type in the word math, you'll get to the math department website. And at that point, if you click on uh, placement test practice problems, then you'll get a link here for three practice tests. And uh, these are the same practice tests down here uh, with uh, that they're in wor word format here and here these are an Acrobat reader. Now the problems I want to do are on the third uh, practice test and I already have that open here. And uh, these practice te tests tell you approximately uh, how many questions uh, you need to get right on each section. The first section of the test that you'll see is the elementary algebra section, and that uh, section has 12 questions, and you need to get about 6 out of 12 on that right to move on to the uh, CLM section. So uh, let's go ahead and do these here. The first one says, uh, what is the perimeter of the triangle below in terms of x? Perimeter means to add up the lengths of all these sides. Well, the lengths of these sides aren't numbers, they're expressions. Like the length of this side is 2x minus 9, the length of this side is 5x plus 2, and the length of this side is 3x plus 4. So we need to add these up. So adding up the like terms, the 2x, the 5x, and the 3x gives us 10x. And adding up the numbers, 4 and 2 is 6, and 6 minus 9 is negative 3. So we get 10x minus 3, and so the right answer to this problem is B. Let's go on to problem uh, 2, and on problem 2, it says, uh, which is equivalent to this right here? So in other words, we're going to need to solve this inequality for T. So uh, I have the problem written down here. Negative uh, 3T minus 9 is greater than 5T plus 7. Now the first thing you might want to do is get all your T's on one side, and it wouldn't matter if I subtracted the 5T from uh, each side from here and here, but that would give me a negative 8t if I did that, and that's fine, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and add 3t to both sides to keep my coefficient in front of the t positive, and if I do that, I get, well, see, the t's are out of here, and on the left-hand side, I just have minus 9 is greater than, well, that would be 8t plus 7. That's a t right there. Now, I need to get all my numbers on the other side, so I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. And if I do that, I get minus 16 is greater than 8t. And finally, divide both sides by the 8. And if I do that, I get t is less than, okay, we're reading this from right to left, t is less than negative 2. Now, if I would have multiplied or divided by a negative number, I didn't do that. I divided by 8. But if I multiply or divide by a negative number, you would need to change the direction of this inequality. So the answer is t is less than negative 2. This could also be written as this. t is less than negative 2. And if we look through here on our choices, we would see that uh, the right answer, uh, t is less than a negative 2, is choice d there. Okay, let's go to problem 3. And this one, problem 3, is what is 2x minus 5y squared? Well, let me go ahead and write that one up here. And uh, we'll just do it somewhere around here. And so uh, the problem, again, is um, parentheses 2x minus 5y squared. Um, now, we could say this is the quantity 2x minus 5y squared. We don't just take the square in through the uh, terms here we should rewrite this as being 2x minus 5y times another 2x minus 5y. And we need to foil this stuff together here. So taking the 2x times the 2x, we'll get 4x squared. The 2x times the minus 5y is a minus 10xy. Then go to your enter here. Minus 5y times 2x is another minus 10xy, and the minus 5y times minus 5y is a plus 25y uh, squared. Now combine your like terms, and we get 4x squared minus 20xy, that's combining these two, plus 25y squared. And if we check to see uh, what answer that is, uh, we would see 
that. Uh, that is answer, let's see, I think it's answer E here. So the correct answer would be E. And uh, let's go on up to um, problem four. Problem four says 2x minus 3 is a factor of which of the following? Well, let's uh, write these uh, down and try to factor them. Well, um, let me get a new sheet of paper here. Okay, problem four, we were saying 2x minus 3 is a factor of which one of these here. So we'll need to try these out. So let's try problem number uh, part one, the one we're checking to see if it's a factor. Well, 2x squared plus 5x minus 12 factors into, well, the 2x squared has to be a 2x and an x. This minus sign here means that the signs are different. One's positive and one's negative. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the plus here and a minus here. You could try the plus here and the minus there. But I need factors of 12 that when I substitute them in here and pull it together, they'll uh, subtract to uh, 5. So factors of 12, well, there's like 4 and 3. And actually, that will do it because if I do a 4 here and a 3 here, uh, if I check my inner and outer, the 4 times the 2x gives me 8x minus 3x is 5x. And this will foil together to give me this. So 2x minus 3 is a factor of this one. But it also could be a factor of one of these. So let's check the next one. Uh, we got 2x and x. Again, it's 2x squared. Uh, signs are the same. One's plus and one's minus. And now we need factors of 4 that differ by 7 and actually differ by a minus 7. So I think if I put the 4 here and a 1 here, it will actually factor. So that's uh, 1x, and this is minus 8x, which gives me a minus 7x. But 2x minus 3 is not a factor here on this one, so no. And then 4x squared plus 9, what they're trying to do here is get you caught on a difference of two squares. Well, this is not a difference of two squares. This is a sum of two squares, which doesn't factor. So this doesn't factor. See, if it would have been... Uh, if it would have been 4x squared minus 9, that's a difference of two squares, which would have factored into 2x plus 3, 2x minus 3, but this one uh, here doesn't factor. So the only one that factors, uh, it, and it has a factor of 2x minus 3, is the first one. Now, when you look at the choices on this uh, problem, it says only one, only two, only three, and so on. Well, it's only one. Uh, this one right here, okay, only choice one, okay, is the only one that has that factor. Let's go ahead here to uh, problem five, and problem five, problem five says uh, p to the negative 10 over p to the fifth, and what you need to know is just the fact that you need to know that negative exponents reciprocate the base. In other words, instead of this p being in the numerator, it's going to be in the denominator, so that will give us Nothing on the top except for a 1, okay, because uh, when we move this down here, we still have 1 as a factor of p, not 0. So anyway, on the bottom, I have a p to the 5th, and when I reciprocate this, it becomes p to the positive 10th. And now when you uh, multiply, you add your exponents together, and adding those, we get 15. So it's 1 over p to the 15th, which is the answer b. Uh, on problem number 6,